In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use set actions to be able to compare the ranks between different members of a set. Now that might sound a bit confusing, but hopefully it makes sense after I go walk through the example. So this is a, ficti a fictitious data set I created about car sales. So the first thing I want to look at is the discount of cars. So let's say, uh, first off, I want to change the default aggregation for my uh, discounts to an average. Let's put that in the rows. And let's put sales in the columns. Very simple data set so far. I know I need these formatted as a percentage, so I'm going to go ahead and set my default number format as well. OK, let's just go zero decimals. And I'm going to look at the make and model of each particular car. So let's go ahead and stick that on the detail shelf. There we go. Or maybe we, let's see if we just look at the make of the car. No, that's not enough detail. OK, there we go. So we have a make and a model of a car. So what I'm going to be able, to, what I want to be able to do is, is uh, allow the user to select one of these marks, and have it compare the rank of that mark to the rank of another one that I click on. So let me go ahead and make these a circle, and I'm just going to add a bit of, or reduce the opacity a bit. There we go. Make it look a bit better, and yeah, something like that. Good enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a parameter, because what I want to allow the user to do is actually to um, uh, to, to choose the one they want to compare to. So let me go ahead and create a parameter here. And you could just make this make this a fixed thing if you want. Um, so for example, uh, now let's leave it like this for now. So I'm just going to call it uh, choose a make and model. Hit OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and show that parameter control. And we can pick any car in the list here. So let's say that we want to look at uh, maybe a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I want to be able to highlight that in the view. So I'm just going to create a simple calculated field that's, uh, so I'm going to call a highlight make model. And I'm simply just going to say the make model is equal to my parameter. And hit OK. And if I put that on the color shelf, we can now see uh, we have an orange one and some blues. So let me go ahead and edit my colors. And uh, maybe I'll make this one maybe a green and make this maybe a lighter color or something like that. Okay, so now they can stand out a bit more. And I need to go ahead and show my color shelf. So go to, uh, let's see, to do the legends, show my color legend. And I want to make sure these are reversed. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, wrong direction there. I want to just go ahead and drag the true above the false. And there we go. That way it's that's always going to be in front of the other marks. So as I change this, I can pick a different car. And there we go. Something like that. Okay. So uh, let me just go ahead and switch it back to what was I looking at before? A Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee. Okay. So this is telling us the sales volume and then the average discount. Great. Okay. So <clears throat> what I want to do now is I want to, sh I want to look at the ranks of these different, uh, different items. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new sheet. And I'm going to put my make and model into the rows. And uh, I want to go ahead and create two calculations, one for the rank and one for the discount. So let's create a calculated field. And I'm going to call this my discount rank. And I'm going to say uh, rank um, of the average discount. OK, and that's good. And I want to rank that. Uh, I want to rank that. Uh, yet yeah, descending. I guess that's okay. So highest to lowest. Actually, I want it to be the lowest to be the best. So I'm going to make that ascending. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and make that uh, discrete. And I'll show you why in a minute. So let's make that field discrete. Okay. And then let's create another calculated field. And let's call this one our sales rank. And I'm going to do something similar here. So I'm going to say rank some sales. Bang. OK, so right now, for now. So what I eventually want to be able to do is I want to be able to say, OK, where is my uh, the one that I chose? And how does that compare to something else that I picked? So the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and uh, create a set based on my make and model. So I'm going to create a set. Make model 
And uh, initially, we're going to just say, uh, we want to go in here and put a condition in. Actually, on my general tab, I'm going to pick use all. And then on my condition tab, this is where I want to set it to be, uh, to set it to say, use the one. In this set, I want it to always be the one that they pick in the parameter. So I'm going to say make model equals, and I'm going to call this my choose make model. And hit OK. And we now have a new set down here. And if I just go ahead and put that on the color, actually, let me just go ahead and put it in the rows. And we can see what it's doing. Let's ignore the ranks for now. That's not a big deal. We can say that Jeep Grand Cherokee is now at the top. OK, so I want to create a second set based on the make and model. And this one, I'm just going to just call it my make model set. And let's call this make model set. And for now, just to see if it's working, I'm just going to go ahead and maybe I'll pick a Jeep. And I'll pick a different kind of Jeep. Maybe I'll pick a Jeep Wrangler. I used to have one of those. So let's use that. Hit OK. And I'm going to have a second set here. So let's put that into the rows as well. And what we should get is, so here's our Jeep Grand Cherokee, and it's the second one here. So good to go. All right. So what I want to be able to do now is uh, I need to be able, I need to create a combined set for these two. So let's create a combined set. And I want to say uh, items in, or cars in both sets. And I want to do all members in both sets and hit OK. All right, great. So now I want to want to be able to do is let's put that up in the view as well. And I can get rid of my make and model set now. Okay, and we see that we have, uh, we because we have Jeep Wrangler chosen, we have that one listed here. Uh, so what we can do now is we can go ahead and hide all of the ones that are out of the combined set. And now that I have these in here, I want to leave them in here for sorting purposes. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hide the headers for both of these. Okay, so let's hide the header. And now what I want to be able to do is I need to be able to rank these objects. So let's go ahead and uh, I need to fix my compute using. And I want to make sure it's choosing all of the sets. Okay, so it's picking everything, so that's good. And then my sales rank, I want to set that up the same way. So uh, edit table calc, pick all dimensions. Okay, so notice now it's going to maintain the rank between these two objects. So, all right, so I'm good with that. And what I want to do now is I want to, let me go ahead and swap these around. I want to move these two fields to the, I'm going to move them one at a time. I want to make my discount. Uh, let's go ahead and make that continuous because I just want to show it as a bar instead and drag my sales up there and make that continuous as well. Okay, so now we have those two things. I'm going to put them on a combined. Uh, there we go. Okay, so something like that. So let's see if I can make it look a bit better. Okay, so now we have our sales rank and we have our, uh, so this one is our discount rank. So let's swap these around. Okay, so now I'm going to just edit the, um, that's fine. Yeah, we could just leave it like that for now. So let's. Uh, edit the alias for this one. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to set these back to big numbers. I think they'll look better. So let me go ahead and um, I want to change the mark type to a text. And that's fine. And I'm going to put measure values onto the text shelf. And you see we have these objects now. I'm going to go ahead and set the format for these to be just regular numbers with no decimals. I'm just going to make these big numbers instead. Okay, and then I'm going to also put the, uh, I'm going to duplicate the measure names onto the text shelf as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and hide the header for that. Okay, so now if I make this wider, so let me go ahead and make these a bit wider. Uh, come on. And a bit taller, we should now see the rank in there as well. Okay, so I need to alias my measure names, it looks like. So, uh, let's see. So, yeah, I want to do uh, edit aliases. 
Uh, so this one I'm just going to call my sales rank, and I'm going to put a space after it so I don't get a duplicate name. Call this one discount rank with a space after it. Okay, we should be getting there now. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. I want to make them both centered. That's fine. And then I want to go ahead and format these. So I'm going to move my measure names below my measure values. All right, and then let's make this one maybe like a 14 point in bold, and we'll just leave that one at nine, that's fine. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna, yeah, let's leave it like that for now, and I can go ahead and hide the field labels. Good, uh, okay, we'll finish the cleanup in a bit. So now we have our two um, sheets we wanna work with, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my highlight make model on color so we can see the green versus the other ones. Okay, now I'm just being consistent. Okay, so let's go ahead and now go to our dashboard. So I'm gonna just make it like maybe 700 by 700, or maybe 800 by 700, something like that, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and put my scatter plot on here, and I can remove that. Okay, and uh, I'm just gonna put that object there. Let's go ahead and put sheet two below that and hide the header, hide the title. But I actually want this to be, uh, let's see, um, maybe what I'll actually do, maybe I'll flip this and have them go down the other way. So I'm gonna hit the little swap button at the top and why don't I just put this here next to it? And there we go. So I can get rid of that one now and I can take this and maybe put it up next to the title. So I'm gonna drag, the, um, drag in a horizontal container Move my dashboard title into there. Let me grab the, make the container a bit bigger. Gives me some more space here. And put my choose make model in there as well. Okay, great. Um, right, and then this one we can say fit width. And we get our ranks there. All right, and then uh, actually maybe we should put this back under here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's a bit better. And so what I'm actually, this is way too big now, so I'm gonna make it maybe 600 by 600. And I'm gonna put these both in a container as well so they size properly. So let's go ahead and drag that sheet in. And then I'm gonna drag this sheet in as well. Okay, and now I can hide the title. All right, so I think we're okay. I'm not in love with what I did down here at the bottom. I think I messed it up just because I don't like the look of it. So I'm just gonna swap that around. Okay, there we go. And now I need to make this a bit bigger. Right, so, and let me hide the title here. I'll clean this up before I publish the video completely. Um, so what I want to be able to do now is I want the user to be able to click on, so first off, they need to be able to change the, uh, the car type. So let me switch. Notice the first row down here says Jeep Grand Cherokee. So I'm gonna make, make it a Ford F-150. And you'll see the, um, so the ranks got messed up there, so I need to go back to my sheet because something is not right. Uh, so what happened here? Let's see. So let's edit our table calc. And okay, yeah, I got to put the highlight on there as well because I changed it before. So change that for both um, rank fields. And right, so now if I go back to my dashboard, I should see, uh, so let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, and then make this, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what, I need to, my aliases are messed up again. So let me go back and I need to now, because I changed the table calc, my aliases are, are messed up now. So let me clear my aliases. And I think it's probably this one, yep. So let's call this my uh, discount rank. I can go ahead and delete that and call this one my sales rank. Okay, just had to fix my aliases there. And now if I go back to my dashboard, I should be good to go. Okay, perfect. So let me make this a bit bigger and I'm just gonna make this a bit wider so we can fit the car name in there. Okay, good enough. So, um, so again, what I want to be able to do is, so now if I pick a car model, so Ford Ranger, for example, you'll see Ford Ranger stays here. Um, it's the top selling car. So if I pick something around here, maybe if, uh, never heard of that car, maybe a Chevy 2500. So let me go here to Chevrolet 
2,500, where's that? Right here. You'll see the sales rank is somewhere in the middle, 66, and the discount rank is 31. All right, but now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to click on one of these dots. So for example, Pontiac Grand Prix, and I want it to swap Jeep Wrangler out for that Pontiac Grand Prix. So this is where the set actions come in handy. So I'm going to go to the dashboard actions. I'm going to add a uh, change set values option. And I want to say update uh, make model set. And it's going to be triggered by sheet one and it's going to apply to sheet two. So my target set is going to be my make model set. And then what I wanted to do is I want that when I click off of it, I want it to disappear from the set. So, uh, or maybe I just leave keep set values. We can show what both of those do. And I want to do it on select. And I only want the, I only want the user to be able to pick one at a time. Oh no, actually let's take that off. Let's say, okay, hit okay again. So now, so I have my green one there and I click on the Chevy Suburban. And you can see now my bottom section here swapped out Chevy Suburban. So let me make this a bit wider so we can read it. Okay, and now when I click off of it, uh, let me click off, you'll see it disappears. So now, but I also, but what's neat is you can still maintain the ranks by using the set. So if I go back over to my sheet here, you'll see how I've used a couple of sets. Let me show the header here. And I'll show the header here as well. So you see right now, uh, the, the, my combined set is, is this column right here, and I only keep things that are in the combined set. Uh, so, and then the, uh, the make model set that's based on the parameter, I want that in here for sorting purposes because I want to make sure that the, the one that I've chosen is always in the top of the list. So let me go ahead and uncheck show header, uncheck show header again. I'm going to get rid of everything in the tooltip. Okay. And then in this sheet, I want to go ahead and clean it up a bit. So I should have, uh, so I want to take my highlight out of the include in tooltip. And I just want the make model, the discount, and the sales. Okay, good enough. I'm not going to worry about cleaning it up too much. So, uh, yeah, so I click off, and now that goes away. Now I can pick, I can lasso multiple ones. And I just need to scroll through them now, which is fine. That's not, uh, it's not too terrible. So let me make this slightly bigger. Okay, there we go, something like that. And I click off, and we're back to just the Chevy 2500. Click off, okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a bit of cleanup on this sheet. So I'm going to right-click on the sheet and choose, uh, sorry, I want to right-click on the sheet somewhere and choose Format. And I want to get rid of my borders. So I want, to get, I want to get rid of my row dividers and I want to get rid of my column dividers. I don't really need them because um, I'm getting shading in between them anyway. So once I click on, for example, Buick Regal here, um, I get it comes up in a in a gray shade, so I don't really need to to format it any more than that. So again, the trick here was basically um, uh, I worked on this as a project with uh, with Joe Stokes from uh, the fifteenth cohort of the Data School, so DS fifteen on a customer project, and the customer wanted to be able to choose a player and compare that player to uh, any other player in the view. So for example. Um, I might have a static list and say, you know what, I always want to compare everything to the Chevy 2500. Then in that case, you wouldn't use a parameter. You would just fix something. But I thought it'd be more interesting to have, uh, maybe want to compare everything to the Chevy Camaro. Uh, and now I can come in here and pick, okay, well, I want to see the Ford Focus. How does that compare in sales and discount? So, um, yeah, so hopefully you found that useful, and I hope um, I know it might have been a bit difficult to explain, but what I'm trying to do is show you again, if I go over here to my sheet two, is to show you how can, you can use um, a parameter that works off of a set, um, a set that works off of the field that you click on, and then a combined, set, a combined set that allows you to show and hide fields so that you can maintain the ranks. So again, because I've, I've chosen to... Um, uh, because I have the show hidden data checked here, that's why all these other things kind of go away because um, I only want to show them when they are in the set. So um, hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a message or leave a comment. And otherwise, have a good day.